Hey guys, it's Beth with Vegan Roots and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a Brussels sprout recipe. This is my favorite go-to Brussels sprout recipe. Anytime that I make them, I typically make Brussels sprouts this way. It's an oil-free recipe and it's got kind of an Asian flavor to it. Um, and hopefully those of you who don't even like Brussels sprouts that much will enjoy this one. So I start this recipe by making the sauce and I start the sauce by mincing three cloves of garlic. Um, I use the knife to smash the garlic to make the peel a lot easier to remove. And then I put it into my garlic press and press it. I did that for all three cloves of garlic and then I moved on to the ginger. I just have a really simple grater here um, and I just grated the whole ginger until I thought I got about a teaspoon. These are all of the ingredients for the entire recipe. Three tablespoons of water, two cups of Brussels sprouts, four tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of garlic, half a cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So I whisked all of those ingredients together besides the Brussels sprouts, and I left one tablespoon of water um, to the side as well. And I cut the Brussels sprouts in half so that they'll soak up more of the liquid as they're cooking. So I put these in a saute pan and put one tablespoon of water over the top of them and let them steam. Like I said, this is an oil-free recipe. Do that for a couple of minutes and then I add half of the sauce. And cover that and then we'll let that um, cook for about 10 minutes. There's enough liquid in there to not really have to stir it too much. And I'm just giving it a quick stir here before I add the rest of the sauce in. Okay, so adding the rest of the sauce in there, making sure to get all of the sugar this, making sure we get all the sugar just ensures that we'll get a thicker sauce as it, as it cooks down. You could even add um, a tablespoon of cornstarch into your sauce before putting it into the pan and that would thicken up your sauce a bit. But I decided to leave it thin. The Brussels sprouts still get all of that nice flavor in them, but I have leftover uh, sauce here that I will put to the side and use for a future stir fry. On top, I'm gonna to put some shaved carrots, and this is how I like to do it. It's the quickest and um, easiest way to, for me to do it. So you can enjoy this Brussels sprout recipe as a side dish or even as a meal depending on how much you make and you can save that leftover uh, stir fry sauce for another stir fry later in the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't already please press the red subscribe button down below so that you guys get notifications of my videos. Thanks for watching guys.